morning traders um, this might be a live trade video let's see I'm watching CHEK here just broke through the pre-market highs I have to buy a hundred shares of it that's gonna make it pretty expensive it just triggered my price alert so that's how I knew it was gonna break through I wasn't watching these too too co closely at this point because they've all been kind of taking their time getting back to the hive day it's not really interested in breaking this candle uh, or buying for the break of that candle because uh, you know my stop loss will be way down here I'd rather see it pull back to the hive day but it might not give me that entry, so if it doesn't, that's fine. It's a bit out of my price range anyway because it's going to cost around 90 bucks to get into this thing. like some people might have been taking a three bar play move over here not quite sure if it went to R um, let's see about two and a half cents so it'd have to go five cents above that 895 and it didn't <clears throat> so now it's giving a legit pullback if uh, the hive day holds a support then I will buy the first one minute candle to make a new high provided it gives me a decent stop loss because right now I can't buy in front of this candle because it's too big I would love for this to be a nice little red candle that bounces off of support or you know holds uh, sorry holds this support and then uh, the next candle breaks the high of that so in that case my entry would be anything greater than 88 cents and then my stop would be it looks like 86 cents so risking two dollars because I'd be buying a hundred shares it's going it's dipping down below that high of day a little bit
So now I, I don't think I'm interested in this because it's come down too low below the high of day or below the uh, pre-market high and uh, let's see that's a three cent candle We'll see. I mean, this candle looks pretty strong. We'll see what the next candle does. The high of this one's 87. So there we go. I'll get in there. Maybe. <laughs> oh, geez. <sighs> Let me see if I can cancel that. Well, it doesn't look like it. trying to get out of this thing because I don't like what Weeble's doing right now. What is going on, man? Jeez. All right, I think it's time to um, restart Weeble. <sighs> I haven't really had an issue like this before, so this is new. Definitely had, you know, glitches here and there, but nothing quite like this. This is pretty annoying. Yeah, it looks like Weeble is having some issues. Let me check with my phone. Okay, there we go. So I might lose some money because of this. See, what, why is this order still showing there? Order cannot be canceled. I have a, I have a position. Okay, okay, that's cool. Now now I can start getting out of this thing. Oh geez. Okay, let me try to put in close by take profit order. This sucks, man. This really sucks. You know what? Screw this. I'm gonna stick to my hotkeys. I think that's my best bet. It's just not working out. Man, this sucks. But this is why, you know, you don't use, uh, you know, you don't YOLO trade because when things like this happen, these could blow up your account if you're using too much uh, share size. Let me see here. I want to sell. I'll close my, st okay, stop loss order.
What is going on here, man? I really just, I just want to get out of this trade because, uh, look at this. Ugh, this stinks, man. Come on, Weevil. Jesus. Gotta be kidding me, dude. <laughs> this is crazy. In the money. Can't sell. This is not a good place to be. Should try on my laptop just to see if it's a computer issue. It doesn't even show my position here. Dang. Let's try this again. Not a good sign. Very strange.
Finally, holy crap. What a pain in the ass. Definitely not trying to get too far out of this one with all these glitches. I'm just gonna scrape whatever I can from this and uh, get out. I'm getting out now because it's right. It was right at my entry, so I'm not taking any more chances. Weeble was glitchy as hell there for I don't know how many minutes that was, but uh, I caught it all on video, so that's good. Um, but you know, you you guys can go through all of my videos. I've recorded pretty much every single trade for the last two or three months, and I've never ever once had an issue like that. And uh, you know that can happen on any broker. I'm not defending Weeble. Obviously, that was a huge screw up, um, and that definitely makes me mad. But you know, unless something like that happens, you know, regularly. Um, you know, even if it, if it happened like probably even once a month, that would be enough for me to say, you know what, screw this. I'm not trading with Weeble anymore. But uh, like I said, I've been trading really, I've been trading since April, never been in a, in a situation like that before. And, uh, and you can, and I've been recording every single trades for the past two or three months. And you can go through every single one of my videos if you want, and you'll never ever find, you know, quite a glitch like that. So, um, Although that sucked, <laughs> I, you know, it's not enough for me to, it looks like maybe a lot of people, you know, that were trading this just got their server back and, and maybe sold. I don't know. But yeah, that's, it's for, for that to happen just once in a blue moon, it's not enough for me to, you know, toss Weeble White by the wayside. But uh, it does kind of reaffirm this is the reason why, you know, you, I try to take the same position size, 8% uh, of my account on every single trade. Now, sometimes with these penny stocks, I got to do a bit more because you have to buy 100 shares, and that happened here. It basically counts as two trades for me because um, it's 16% of my uh, account size. So um, I'm just glad that I was able to salvage that trade. Uh, you know, I left you know some money on the table because I couldn't get out. You know, but I mean, I don't know. My original plan was was to go to two R, which I think it might it might have done it or it got very close on this candle. But you saw, you know, I just couldn't do anything about it because um, Weeble was just so glitchy right there. So let's see what the range. I can calculate it real quick. My ideal entry was um, anything above 80, 87 cents, and the low was eighty three. So let's just, we'll give it the benefit of the doubt, say 87.2, and the low was, um, what did I just, just say it was here? It was uh, 83, so low is 83, and so 2R is 95, so it didn't quite hit 2R, so that trade would not likely have worked out, um, although I would still be in it, really, because my stop loss would be over here, so who knows, maybe it does go to 2R, but um, you know, the 2R thing is like if everything works out just right, if if something goes wrong, if I get like a lot of slippage or a bad fill because of the spread or Weeble glitches out like that, uh, I'm just going to get out as soon as I can, even if I have to take a loss. Luckily here, I was able to still scrape a few pennies. Um, it's funny, it doesn't, sh it doesn't update my daily P&L, but it did increase my... Uh, net market value net account value just make sure that all those orders filled yeah good yeah so i didn't sell any for a loss so that's that's a good thing um let's see maybe it shows up in my account performance no it doesn't show up there yet so that's interesting but it does show in my net account value because i think i was at 507 something before uh, let's see. Oh, wait. Yeah. So this is my yeah. I go. I'm going off my buying power. So five twenty eight oh two. So I just made a tiny little, like you know, less than fifty cents. Uh, let me just calculate that real quick. Five. Well, five twenty eight oh two. That's 41 43 cents so that was 43 cents on that trade which sucks but um you know considering all that went wrong with weeble i was lucky just to get out you know break even or small loss because that could have been a lot worse but uh hey you know that's day trading for you guys if um you know you think everything is going to work perfectly all the time 
that's just not the way it is. You're going to have issues like that once in a while. And um, the best way to protect yourself, there's a couple of ways. Um, you know, you could, especially if you're new, you should probably use bracket orders, which means that every time you, you enter into a trade, you've got a stop loss and a take profit order. That may have worked here. I'm not sure. Um, but uh, I mean, if my take profit was at 2R, I would have not, I wouldn't have gotten filled there because it didn't go. But, um, and, and I actually it would still be in the trade if I set my stop loss to the low of this candle. So, uh, you know, that probably would have worked there, but it's just not something I'm interested in doing anymore uh, because I just don't have, I don't have an issue like this enough to make me want to do that on every single trade. And I never YOLO trade, you know, I never, I always take 8% of my account on every trade or, you know, if it's a penny stock, maybe it's a little bit more. This is pretty much the max, you know, that I would I would trade with because once it gets over a dollar, then I can just use 8%. So, um, yeah, that's it. I don't know. I, you know, I, I really, I don't think I want to take any more trades today, no matter what I see, um, maybe in the aftermarket, but definitely not uh, anytime soon because, uh, you know, who's to say that Weeble doesn't glitch again. But it looks like this thing, I just saw an order for 15,000 shares. This thing's about to rip. So, uh, you know, anyway. But yeah, I don't really care. I'm just, I'm just happy that I got out of that alive. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, ho hopefully you guys learned something from that. I mean, that's a perfect example of, you know, the reality of day trading. Things don't always go as planned. You, um, you Even I've seen, uh, you know, guys that use light speed, that use e-signal, uh, you know, have issues where things just don't always work perfectly and, you know, you could get stuck in a trade or something like that. So it does happen. I did try to pull it up on my phone, but it looked like it was just a, an error all the way across Weeble. So there was really no getting out of it. And I also tried it on my laptop, same thing. So uh, best thing to do, you know, when that happens is just kind of keep restarting the platform, um, you know, hitting the refresh and eventually it should come back and just hopefully you're, you're not too deep in the red when it does. But again, if you're trading with the proper share size, it, it's not going to hurt you that bad. It's not going to blow up your account. So, all right, guys, let me know if you have any questions. This is kind of a, an interesting video catching that glitch live. So um, let me know what you think in the comment section below and uh, hope you guys survived that glitch if you were in it and take care.